Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can squash and merge in GitHub using GitHub Desktop. Let's get right into it. So firstly, what is squashing? Well basically squashing is where we take a bunch of git commits and squash them into one commit. So instead of having, let's say, all of these added in power-ups in our git commit history, we would just have one commit called added in power-ups. So the code in your repo doesn't change, just how many commit there are change. And this can make your repo more readable, more concise, and easier for people to understand what you've done. The goal is, I want to merge this new features for game branch into a demo branch. And I want to squash all of these commits down to something simple like created game demo. And to do that, we need to be in the branch we want to merge into. So to do that, we need to go up to the current branch and then we need to select the branch we want to merge into. So since I want to merge new features for game into demo branch for YouTube, I want to have the demo branch for YouTube open to do the merge. And then we go up to branch and then we do squash and merge into current branch. So we need to navigate to the branch that we want to merge into our current branch. So I want to merge new features for game into demo branch for YouTube. And we're going to be squashing and merging, which means all 14 commits that it says here will be squashed into one commit. So let's click on squash and merge. And as you can see, we have now got a squashed commit for the following. And there's a whole description you can read with all the details. However, the details aren't flooding the commit history. You can click on this button to expand the view, but it's got a little summary of each commit. And as you can see, it's not flooding our commit history. And then you can click on push origin to push it up to GitHub. And that's all you have to do. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.